Thank you. Yeah, go ahead, Kunal. All yours. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Yes. Okay, everyone. Yep. The screen is visible, right? Yes, we can see your screen. Thank you. Okay. Hey, everyone. Uh, first of all, thank you for joining in. Uh, and in terms of what we will cover today, uh, so we'll look to cover. So in the last one, we did uh, like pretty much cover Ad Studio and functionalities with respect to what we can do with Ad Studio. Uh, in this particular session, we want to touch base on uh, like. I would say one of the B2B aspects of, uh, you know, Salesforce with respect to Pardot or account engagement, as we call it, uh, with respect to how uh, we can integrate Pardot and uh, Ad Studio and what is it in terms of the use cases that we can look at. Uh, the basic structure that I have set up is we'll touch base on uh, quickly on Ad Studio and Pardot. Uh, and then see with respect to why we need to implement or integrate both in terms of Ad Studio and Pardot. Uh, and then see steps of how to go about the integration in terms of carrying out the integrations, as well as uh, discuss some of the functioning in terms of uh, running ads uh, and the different functionality of uh, targeting people with respect to on the social channels. In terms of Ad Studio, uh, so as covered, basically it helps you to engage and uh, you know with customers, prospects on all your social channels. Uh, in terms of the social channels, it allows you to connect Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, uh, LinkedIn, and Snapchat uh, as the and along with Google Ads uh, along as the channels that are there, which you can directly integrate with respect to uh, Marketing Cloud in terms of and run ads, run uh, lookalike campaigns on the same, as well as, uh, I mean, Salesforce has, uh, you know, direct uh, platform with respect to Ad Studio. So basically they sell, uh, they sell Ad Studio as a uh, standalone campaign uh, platform as well, and uh, which you can then use uh, with respect to running ads, running your, pushing your audience, as well as, uh, you know, doing an overall uh, social ad campaigns that are there with respect to the social channels that are there. Uh, nothing much changes with respect to there. So, I mean, it's in terms of even though if it is sold uh, standalone, it's mainly with respect to the same functional functionalities that we saw in Marketing Cloud, uh, you know, last time. Uh, the same functionalities are applicable with respect to Ad Studio itself and uh, as a standalone ad campaigns itself. In terms of Pardot, uh, so basically, as we know, uh, basically Pardot is now called as account engagement, and it's mainly a like a B two B platform or a, a you know lead generation platform where uh, you can have convert your leads into I mean from prospects to leads and leads to nurture them to become your uh, you know customers. It helps in that entire identification of. Uh, prospects, prospects to leads, and then converting them into actual customers with respect to either nurturing them or into, uh, nurturing them as well as, uh, uh, you know, with them showing post nurturing interest in terms of, uh, you know, the products or the company that, uh, I mean, you know, they implement, Pardot is implemented for. Uh, it's typically the B2B solution of Salesforce and uh, that's uh, mainly catering to in terms of, uh, you know, like lead nurturing, lead prospecting, uh, and all the overall B2B aspects of, uh, you know, your business that are there. So overall, some of the features that Pardot comes with, uh, basically it allows you to do email marketing, uh, means, you know, to for your leads, you can, uh, you know, set up like, it's not a full-fledged journey builder, journey builder, but you can do uh, overall in terms of campaign setup in the form of journeys. Uh, you know, do the overall lead generation and management activities where you can tag your leads, see with respect to what stage the lead is at, uh, what is it that uh, is required to convert that lead to a prospect and prospect to a customer. Uh, also, you can do a lot of reporting with respect to 
uh, on the lead gen activity that you carry out and generate various reports that are there, as well as you can do, uh, I mean, with respect to integrating the ad studio, you can do the social media marketing and uh, with respect to running ads, running, uh, you know, the social ads that are there, that is there. And as well as uh, have like the uh, Einstein AI. So similar to Marketing Cloud uh, means, you know, you have the Pardot Einstein AI, which basically does the uh, recommendations in terms of your lead, uh, studies the pattern with respect to your lead data and gives you different recommendations, which you, then you can use for the lead nurturing or the campaign activities that are there. So initially, uh, you know, so basically we saw basically what is Ad Studio, what is Pardot. Uh, now, uh, before, I mean, you know, the integrations were in place or before, uh, uh, you know, I would say the automated process was in place. So what used to happen was from Pardot, uh, it used to be where uh, the leads that were there, if they need to be shown uh, like ads on the social channels or on your social handles, or on their specific social handles, et cetera. Basically, you had to manually export the data out of Pardot uh, in terms of all the leads that you've generated or nurtured. Then basically do that overall uh, data transformation that was there. So in terms of uh, where you had to transform that data in the format, which uh, you know the social channels used to accept or the ad studio, ad managers used to accept and then transfer that data manually with respect to from Pardot to the respective social ad managers. And it was like where for each individual ad manager, you had to follow a manual process. So say, for example, if you are running ads on Facebook, as well as Google, as well as uh, say maybe Pinterest or Snapchat uh, as a brand, you had to do that data transformation for all the three platforms in terms of uh, depending on the format that was accepted by those three, and then do that data transfer of your leads with respect to transferring that data on the platform and then running your ads that were there. Now, again, it was all a manual process. So means, you know, the export, import, all of those things were done manually. And as we are aware, so with the manual uh, handling of data came where, you know, your data became corrupted, there were issues with respect to compliance or GDPR overall, uh, you know, breach that is there in terms of handling the data manually. And as well as overall, I mean, you know, it was a time consuming and a tedious process because uh, of the lot of data operations that you had to carry out before putting in the data into the ad managers, running the ads. And then again, I mean, if you wanted to say, uh, you know, get the data back with respect to post the ads are run, in terms of into part out for say any further analytics, et cetera, you had to do the reverse as well, where uh, you know the reports that you generate or the reports that were generated on the ad managers or the campaign effectiveness, if you wanted to measure, you had to do that overall process again, where get that data from the social channels to part out again, and then uh, basically, you know, uh, if measure the effectiveness, see with respect to how effective it is and uh, take a better decision based on that. Then came, so basically to avoid all of this, to mitigate all of this came the uh, connection between Pardot and Ad Studio, where you could connect your social accounts, uh, basically, you know, to Pardot and uh, then uh, basically once that was connected, all the manual processes were removed away because it was where, uh, you know, there was a direct API based connection uh, between the two clouds uh, in terms of your social channels and Pardot. And basically then your audiences which were uh, created or your connection with the social accounts, it was all direct in terms of a seamless process without any manual intervention, without any manual processes being involved as well as there was no data transformation required because the data that uh, used to get generated was in the formats which was accepted by the social channels. So you got a direct transfer and which you could then use it on your social channels that is there. So it helped in terms of overall improving the data quality, data security, where you know there was no manual process involved in the overall data transfer that is there. 
with respect to the connection taking place. Advantages, uh, so definitely, I mean, apart from the manual uh, processes being removed and, uh, you know, time uh, in terms of effectiveness with respect to saving time, it was where with the connection in terms of Pardot and uh, Ad Studio, mm -hmm. you could also re basically re-engage with your inactive subscribers slash leads in this case where say if you had any uh, you know leads which were with you uh, say not engaged or not uh, you know subscribed or not uh, inquired for quite a lot of time you could re-engage with them with respect to showing ads on the social channels uh, creating that segment pushing it to the social channels running ads and get them to engage uh, you could also combine your social channel presence with respect to the email campaigns uh, that as a brand you used to do. So it was where you could overall from a campaign perspective or on your segments that were there, you could do a combination of your email campaigns as well as targeting them with respect to on the social channels. Uh, and it was again, it was a seamless process where data flow was smooth and you could run your campaigns directly. Uh, as well as since it was, uh, you know, say without any manual intervention and an online process, uh, say you could have better data visibility as well. So where, say if a person has gone ahead and converted from a lead to say a customer or gone ahead, made the purchase or took that decision of the purchase, you could exclude them from the ads uh, where in terms of providing that right experience as well. At the same time, uh, you know, saving cost with respect to where, uh, you know, showing ad to a person who's already purchased or transacted is like a waste of, uh, you know, your commercial that is there or the money that you're spending on the ad that is there, which you could optimize and save at. As well as uh, since there was no manual process involved. So, uh, you know, the manual process took its own time with respect to the data transformation, data transfer, all of those things. So it's, by the time you captured the data to the time you run the campaign, there was like a time lag that is there. With this connection, it is where you can do a real-time campaign, immediately capture the data, get it into your social channels, and basically run the ads, and vice versa, where depending on the campaign performance, uh, basically uh, get that data back on the Salesforce or Sales Cloud or maybe part out and uh, you know have that effectiveness with respect to campaign measurement and the other actions that had to be taken as well as uh, lookalike audiences so uh, you know say one is with respect to lookalikes of uh, the actual customers that are there but you could also create lookalikes uh, of your leads and basically uh, prospect them with respect to running ads on the social channels and basically generate or do that lead gen activity with respect to generating more leads, generating more prospects, and uh, then getting them to be converted to customers. So you could even do the lookalike campaigns for your leads that were there. And based on the lead data, you could generate more leads in terms of say 2X, 3X of your existing leads that are there so that you have like more customers coming in, uh, you know, out of that particular data set that is there. How does the data flow work? Uh, so this is the typical in terms of overall, uh, you know, data flow that works between say part or two overall uh, ad studio. Uh, so this is mainly with respect to where there's an overall connection from say part or lead, which gets created into your CRM. Uh, then from the CRM, it is pushed to marketing cloud or ad studio. Uh, and then basically once it is pushed to the ad studio, it's pushed to the basically the social channels where you want to run the ads uh, and you can have your all your social channels connected through which you can run the ads, uh, you know, to the different lookalike campaigns, uh, so on and so forth. So this was, this is a broad level connection in terms of, uh, you know, how the overall functioning of the data works in terms of each process of data that uh, you know happens between uh, uh, leads and your part or to your advertising studio that is there. So integration, uh, 
this is where uh, you could also integrate. So it's, it's typically where a Pardot has a prospect which gets added to your, uh, so this is more of a simplified version with respect to uh, you know how the overall flow works. So this is where basically a uh, you know prospect once it comes into Pardot, it gets added to a lead or a Salesforce campaign uh, on your CRM, and basically on the Salesforce CRM, it gets updated into something called a Salesforce reports. And basis that from the reports, that data gets pushed into like a marketing cloud data extension, and from the data extension, basically it gets pushed to the different social channels in terms of your ad audience in the form of uh, say Google ad manager, Facebook ad manager, uh, Instagram ad manager, so on and so forth, through which you can run ads in terms of your ad campaigns that are there. Now, uh, in terms of, uh, you know, how do you implement this or how do you go about uh, performing this particular task. So in terms of this flow to happen or this data flow to happen, there are a certain tasks which need to be carried out on uh, basically Pardot, on Salesforce, as well as on uh, Marketing Cloud in terms of al aligning a certain permissions, et cetera. Uh, so that's something which we look at it now in terms of what steps need to be carried out. So basically these are the requirements that you need to uh, first carry out in terms of before performing the task. So where on the Salesforce side, uh, you need to provide those permissions to uh, you know, create those objects, add objects, or say overall create those campaign objects. On Pardot side, again, have those user permissions aligned, have a, like a Salesforce connector implemented, which uh, does the talking or does the data flow between the uh, systems that is there. And in terms of marketing cloud, it's where you should have access to advertising studio as well as the overall marketing cloud in terms of your journeys and the other channels that are there, as well as have the connector implemented. So connecting uh, basically your CRM, connecting your Pardot with respect to marketing cloud as well, where you have that connect implemented. So you can there is a seamless flow of data between the three clouds that are there. And then also on Marketing Cloud, there, there should be an FTP account set up. Basically, an FTP user also will be required uh, to manage that automations or to design that automations, which will take care of the data flow that is there. So this is the overall requirements that you need to have on basically all the three clouds, uh, on all the three platforms to connect uh, basically the systems. Now, in terms of... Uh, what are the tasks when broken down in terms of uh, the each of the platforms? So as said, in terms of Salesforce, uh, basically you need to create a campaign and have a report, a Salesforce report, which uh, manages the data flow. So that is something which you need to create on the SFDC. Uh, in terms of Pardot, basically you need to define or rules uh, how the prospects get added to the Salesforce campaign. So basically, based on different rules, those different segments will get created. So you need to define those rules of how the prospects are added. And then uh, into Marketing Cloud, basically you need to create that data which imports it, uh, automation which imports it and creates. And then once the data is imported into like, you know, the data extensions, it's where you define those, again, rules. This is on Marketing Cloud purely with respect to say doing adding filters or data, creating those data segments and uh, creating those ad audiences with respect to the different channels of uh, social media and pushing them into the different social media handles uh, through which basically using ad manager run ads uh, that are there in terms of overall of uh, the social ads that are there. Uh, in terms of overall, uh, so just a particular use case that comes in mind. Uh, so say, imagine a lead uh, that, you know, you are uh, nurturing or say a lead that you've gotten. Uh, so say, imagine you are a, a, like an ed tech brand. I mean, I'm taking just an ed tech as an example. Now you are an ed tech, uh, uh, you know, a brand that is there and uh, you've done an event, uh, which is like an offline event uh, means as 
which is like a webinar seminar kind of a thing on which you've generated leads or uh, you know you've uh, created those leads that are there now those leads basically once you put it into part art uh, it will be where uh, you know you can nurture those leads show them the ad show them the information about the brand so now if the ad studio is connected basically what you can do is to those leads depending on whatever parameters you have in terms of their certain demographics, their certain interests, their certain budgeting, uh, you know, all of those information, you can uh, run them those ads that are there, show them those ads on the, uh, say, social media channel of their preference or say, which has worked for you as a brand uh, and show them the ads, uh, get them to interact with the brand or say, get to know more information about the brand uh, and then basically, uh, you know, nurture them and get them to say maybe transact or convert to a customer. Uh, as well as uh, say, it's like the lead that you generated. I mean, so the lead or the lead information that you collected was in this case based on an offline event that is there. Now, uh, say you collected five parameters in terms of your particular lead that is there as we discussed in terms of the lead demographics, lead uh, company size, lead company revenue, and lead uh, investment revenue of last year. I mean, investments in the last year. I mean, say if you've been able to capture, uh, you know, say such information that is there with respect to your leads. Now, uh, similar to what we saw for an end customer in terms of creating the lookalike audiences, similarly for this particular leads as well, what you can do is, Based on this information, find out uh, or leads which are of the similar type, similar nature, and basically then target them with respect to showing an ad on any of the social channels or social handles and uh, get them to interested with respect to your particular red tech service or brand that is there so that they come and inquire about, uh, say, a particular service, particular product line, uh, so on and so forth. And basically, you uh, multiply your leads with respect to creating those lookalike audiences as well. So this would be like an overall use case, uh, you know, with respect to Pardot and Ad Studio. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I know it's like pretty short and sweet, but uh, I mean, the topic itself is with respect to where, uh, you know, connecting Pardot and uh, Ad Studio in terms of specifics that we want to look, uh, we wanted to look at. Happy to take questions in terms of any questions uh, users have. Any questions, team? I think there are some questions, uh, Kunal, if you can see in chat message. Right, right. Uh, so I think one, uh, do we have a direct method of advertising without including SFMC? Uh, so yes, I mean, so in terms of Ad Studio is, uh, I mean, uh, so sold uh, standalone as well, uh, but in terms of your, uh, connection, it is something where, uh, you know, you will have to uh, connect it with respect to your SFDC and then uh, with respect to uh, the social ads channels that are there. But uh, in terms of, uh, so that's with respect to a standalone ad studio that is there, which you can use irrespective of the other channels. But only thing from a perspective uh, that, uh, you know, you would like to uh, have the omnichannel experience that is there. So therefore, uh, you know, if you go via the SFMC route or connect via the SFMC route, it's where it's giving you options of Ad Studio plus the other channels as well in terms of a reach out that is there. But yeah, there is a direct method in terms of connecting Ad Studio that is there without SFMC. Uh, can we see a demo of how we can connect uh, Ad Studio with Pardot. So in terms of a demo demo, I mean, uh, 
it's like a trial there's no trial instance that is there but uh, it's more of that if you follow the steps uh, aligned i mean in terms of uh, the steps shown in the slide pretty much uh, you know with respect to the connection it will help you in terms of connecting uh, your pardo to ad studio that is there any other questions any other questions team and there's one more question like tentative timeline and about licensing and additions i think uh, in terms of uh, license and additions uh, it's with respect to where uh, so you can connect your uh, part out with respect to you know ad studio so i mean there is no uh, license restriction i would say so with respect to where pardot can be connected with respect to i think except the base version of pardot uh, it's like the other two versions of pardot you can connect with respect to ad studio uh, and similarly with respect to ad studio as well because ad studio is not available with the base edition of uh, marketing cloud as well or say like a base version in itself uh so it's where uh, apart from the base version it's where you can connect both the uh, licenses and both the clouds that are there i think tentative timeline to carry out the integration uh, so it's like a similar process of uh, you know like uh, certain steps that need to be configured i mean overall with respect to where i would say it's like a one week effort in terms of uh, you know integration and uh, then you are good to start executing campaigns or executing ad campaigns that are there perfect i think uh, i mean any other questions happy to address those i mean even with respect to uh, i mean now or say if you have questions happy to take those uh, offline as well where uh, you know you can definitely reach out and ask questions i'm happy to address those thank you kunal thank you so much for joining and this is a great session um really appreciate for what i've uh, been doing for the community thank you so much thanks everyone for joining perfect thank you